Isn't everything we do in life a way to be loved a little more? There's a wind that blows in from the north And it says that loving takes its course Come here Hello everyone, that is a quote from one of my favorite films of all time and that is Before Sunrise, directed by Richard Linklater, and it is part of the Before Trilogy that are all on Blu-ray in this set put out by Criterion. There is also a DVD counterpart to this set as well. This is something that I had wanted to be on the collection for so many years. I first watched Before Sunrise probably around 2011, 2012, and I know this is going to sound extremely cliched, Quite possibly one of the most cliched things anyone can say is that it changed my life. It changed my life not only personally, but in my cinematic life as well. I had never seen a film quite like that before. I had never seen a film that had packed so much meaning about love and life and human relationships into one film. And then I saw Before Sunset, which came out nine years after Before Sunrise. Before Sunrise came out in 1994, and Before Sunset came out in 2003. And the third film came out in 2013. Before Sunset was a film that really captured me. It engrossed me in the story of... Jesse and Celine a little more. Jesse portrayed by Ethan Hawke, Celine by Julie Delpy, one of the greatest on-screen romantic couples in all of cinema history, in my opinion. And what we got in Before Sunset is the continuation of their story. And without delving into the particulars of any of these films, I just want to say the first film uh, kind of left you wanting more. It wanted you to really spend more time with this couple because each film only spends about part of the day or a whole day with this couple and them interacting with one another and the dialogue that they use in these films are extraordinary. I know that the second and third films were nominated for a screenplay Oscars at their specific year's Academy Award ceremonies and rightfully so. These films are impeccably well written and I always wanted to emulate these films when making films of my own. These are as close uh, to the approximation of the films that I personally want to make as a filmmaker. Films that really strike at the realness of humanity and what is so extraordinary about these films is that they feel so real and you think that it is kind of improvisation between the two actors and it's not. What you learn by delving into the making of these films is that they rehearse so, so much to get things to be so perfect. These films are directed by Richard Linklater. Some of you may be familiar with his films Dazed and Confused and Boyhood, which are also part of the Criterion Collection now, as well as a few other of his films that I personally enjoy. Me and Orson Welles, his newest film, Everybody Wants Some, is kind of a spiritual sequel to Dazed and Confused, as well as Slack which is also part of the Criterion Collection, which is a film that inspired many independent filmmakers to start making films. But now that I've talked about these films, I definitely want to delve more into this box set and show you all of its contents. Here is the front cover of the set, which is done in a kind of uh, pinkish, kind of opaque type color. And what we have here is kind of the phases of the sun, if you will. And of course, we have the titles here, Before Sunrise, Before Sunset, and Before Midnight. Here is the back of the set. If you are familiar with Criterion, lists all of the details that are contained in the various editions. As you can see on the right, it lists each film as well as their run times and aspect ratios as well as the audio that is used on each film. And down here, you have all of the extras that are on each disc. But what is nice about these sets is that they also list all of the specific features that are on each disc in each individual case. And as I've turned here on the side, you can see that each disc is housed in a digipack. The first one being the largest because it also contains the booklet as well which is really nice that Criterion includes in all of their sets and individual releases of both their DVDs and their Blu-rays. They just kind of fall out of the side of the set and what you have here is each individual digipack in a different color which is kind of nice. But let's 
delve into the digipack for the first film, and that is Before Sunrise, which I have to say may be my favorite in the series. Initially, Before Sunset was the film that I gravitated to the most, but now as time has gone on, this is the film I find myself revisiting constantly and constantly thinking about. And as you can see here on the cover, you get lovely kind of original artwork of Jesse and Celine. There's Ethan Hawke, Julie Delpy, in their 1994 versions. And as you can see up here, uh, Before Sunrise, a film by Richard Linklater, as well as uh, The Spine, which contains the number of the film in the collection. Yes, they are up to 857 entries into the collection and more. This set actually came out in February of this year, and they've already added to it. On the side of the box, there is a number as well. It is 856. Uh, the box sets, as well as the individual movies, all have numbers. My guess is, is because they end up re-releasing a lot of these in individual forms, so they just give them the numbers now. On the back here is the usual description of the film and its various contents. There are a few special features on here. It's not quite a stacked set, but for those of you who own the DVD versions of Before Sunrise and Before Sunset, um, this is a welcome surprise because those were essentially bare bones releases. These films are not quite as well known when they were released on DVD as they are now. I think uh, their popularity has definitely grown in the last few years. But here you have a new restored 2K digital transfer, which was definitely much needed. The DVD looked particularly bad. Uh, this was not a film that was shot in a particular high budget. It was shot on location in Vienna, which is a gorgeous aesthetic. And what we also have here is a 2.0 surround DTS HD master audio soundtrack, the space in between, a new piece in Richard Linklater and actor co-writer Julie Delpy and Ethan Hawke discuss the trilogy, moderated by critic Kent Jones. Uh, three by two, a new conversation between scholars Dave Johnson and Rob Stone about Linklater's work. That is particularly very, very interesting. Both of those guys have written books about the Before trilogy, so it's nice to see uh, their kind of uh, different views and same views on the trilogy as well. And of course, behind the scenes footage from the film's production, which of course is very, very interesting. If we flip over here and open it up, we get a nice uh, still photo inside of Jesse and Celine. And here is the booklet that I was just recently talking about. Once again, these booklets contain essays and photographs from the films in the box sets, as well as the individual releases. And it's a really nice thing to have. Here is a nice picture of director Richard Linklater in his younger days. But here we also have the disc with a nice kind of sun design and a red background here. And here is Before Sunset, which is the second film in the trilogy taking place nine years after the first in 2003. And this film is set in the city of Paris, which like I said, another gorgeous location. Another picture of Julie Delpy and Ethan Hawke. Here is the cover and the side here, of course, with its own number. Here is the number 858 on the side. This is a much thinner one than the first one. And here on the back, description, uh, details about the disc, as well as the special features below. A 2K digital transfer as well, which, like I said, from the first film, was much dated because the DVD doesn't look particularly great. And of course, this one got a 5.1 surround DTS HD master audio track, as opposed to the first one, which only got two. I think that has to do with the way in which the films were shot. By the time this film was shot, Richard Linklater was much more well-known. He had much more of a budget to work with, as well as equipment. This also contains Richard Linklater Dream is a Destiny, a feature-length 2016 documentary about the director by Louis Black and Karen Bernstein. That is actually a full 90 minutes long. So that is essentially an extra film in this set. If you're really a big fan of Richard Linklater like I am, uh, definitely check it out. On Cinema or Time, a video essay by filmmaker uh, Kagunada. Uh, behind the scenes footage from the film's production. And down here, of course, is the usual credits. This is what the inside of the digibook looks like. Here on the left, you see another picture of Jesse and Celine walking and talking, as they do a lot in these films. And on the right here is the Blu-ray disc. The entire inside of this packaging has a nice orange look to it, kind of symbolically referring to uh, what a sunset looks like. That is kind of 
the theme going on here. And here we have Before Midnight, the much anticipated continuation of the romance of Jesse and Celine. And this is Ethan Hawke and Julie Delpy once again on the cover. And this is a blue set, I guess kind of, you know, symbolicing night. There's a moon in the background. I could not wait until this came out. I watched it and just a, a brilliant, brilliant film. Here on the back, you can see the usual details as well as the special features. The special features here is a 2K digital mask approved by director Richard Linklater, an audio commentary featuring Linklater and actors Julie Delpy and Ethan Hawke, uh, which is also contained on the non-criterion version of this film. Yes, this film received a non-criterion version. It does have a couple of extra features that this one does not. So for those of you who have this film already, Hold on to that edition and get this one as well so you have everything if you're a completist like myself. And continuing on here, After Before, a new documentary by Athena Rachel Sangari about the movie's production in Greece. Yes, this film was shot in Greece, so you could just imagine the absolute gorgeous aesthetic. And this is probably the most gorgeous looking of all the films. It is the film made with the most modern technology as well as the most polished from... Richard Linklater. Love darkens and deepens an episode of the radio program Fresh Air featuring hosts Terry Gross, Linklater, Delpy, and Hawk. Here on the side is, of course, the usual number that is on every criterion, and that is number 859. Well, this is currently the final film in the trilogy. There have been talks of doing a film nine years later, so that would be 2022. Of course, if these actors are around, I hope so. And of course, Richard Linklater, if he's willing to do it, I would love to see them do another one. Here you have the inside here is all blue shaded as well as the disc before midnight. I love the shot of Celine and Jesse. And that is the, what I would say, glorious set of the Richard Linklater films. A set that I waited so many years to get and I'm so happy that it is finally available to the great folks at Criterion. So that has been my review of the Before Trilogy box set from Criterion. If you like this video, please check out the other videos on my channel.